In global filters, you're able to set a range of costs that will then be used in every supplier search that you run. It's important to note that when you change and save any new filter settings here, you will need to run your supplier searches again as the new filter settings won't be applied to any searches that have already been completed. Now running down the page, you have a slider button to choose if you want FBA fees included in the profit calculation. If you deselect this option, Source Mogul won't include any FBA fees in the profit calculator. This would be useful if you're selling via merchant fulfillment rather than using FBA. This will give you the option to input a nominal FBA fee, which Source Mogul will use in any instance where Amazon doesn't provide an FBA fee for a product. Using this slider will show you product costs for both VAT registered sellers or non VAT registered sellers. The default in for non VAT registered costs, if you switch this on, all costs will be calculated for VAT registered sellers. Here you can add an additional cost per product that you want included in all calculations. Now this may include, for example, any packaging or labeling costs that you will incur per item. This is where you can add a per item shipping figure to the profit calculations. You can use this to allow for the cost of shipping your products from your home to an FBA center. If you use a third party fulfillment service, you're able to add in the per item cost that they will charge here. If you know that you will get a cashback from any suppliers when you order through them, add the percentage cashback that they will give you here and run those suppliers. Source Mogul will add the cashback amount to the profit calculations. Just remember that until you come back to global settings and change this figure, it will be applied to all searches that you run. So if you don't have a cashback deal on some suppliers, the results will be inaccurate. This here gives you the option of having all product measurements shown in either Imperial or metric units. Select what you'd prefer, log out of your account, then when you log back in, the measurements will be shown in your choice. Finally, save your global filter settings to have them included in all the searches you run. You can come back here and change these however frequently you need to, so that they accurately reflect your ongoing shipping or prep costs and any cashback offers you have from any supplier site.